Now, there's probably been a few situations in your career that you've had to stand up for yourself, probably a few times. Well, th there's one uh, I, I can tell you about that. Um, again, this is back in the 70s. My, after I'd split up with my wife, I sent my children to stay with my mother in St. Vincent. Mm -hmm. And then my wife, she was away. She came back, and conditions being as they were, she had uh, the right to demand them. So. Mm -hmm. She exercised that, so I was sweeping floors. Hey, Neutral Street. Oh, okay. Sears had a warehouse here. I used to sweep floors there, and they had on Queen's Key. Right. Then I went down to Queen's Key to sweep floors there. Now I'm allergic to dust. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. But that's what I did. Mm-hmm. Because uh, I, I wasn't a waiter. I couldn't wait tables and stuff. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a play being done at uh, Theater Plus or one of those things, a summer theater. And the little foxes. Mm -hmm. Ah, the little foxes, right. I was asked to do this servant. In 1973, I don't have a picture. You should see my afro, man. Mm -hmm, yeah, <laughs> and I had yeah, a yeah. Fumon German stash and all that sort of thing, right, you know. Yeah, yeah. In those days, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. So the director, he says, uh, Five hundred dollars a week, right? To do it. Yeah. I said, no, uh, it was hard to turn it down. Five hundred dollars a week now mm -hmm. in, in town is good. I know. know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it's nineteen seventy-three. So then he finally said, "Listen, I'd like you to go home and think about it. I'll make it worth your while financially." Mm -hmm. You know, I went. I went home and I cried. Mm -hmm. I cried at the thought. That I, w I was, the attempt was being made to buy me out, mm -hmm. and I turned it down. I said no. What would you What would you advise young actors when they were given something that they don't feel comfortable doing? What would you say to them? Don't do it. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. When I did uh, coming through slaughter, one of the things Paul wanted me to do. There was a scene, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it was ever done since mm -hmm. or. or in any other play, but it was a f famous bathtub scene mm -hmm. where I'm in a bathtub taking a soak, mm -hmm. and um, Lane Coleman comes in as the, the, the detective and pushes me under mm -hmm. because he couldn't get me to do what he wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. And so I'm under there for a good long time, you know, and then I finally spring up. Mm -hmm. And those are the days of nudity and everything. So right. I sprung up and I whipped that towel around me so fast. <laughs> oh, okay. I whipped that towel around me so fast, you know. <laughs> uh, because he wanted me to show full frontal nudity. I said, right. no, nah, there's enough of that <laughs> stuff in the show. No, I must have something in reserve, man. <laughs> Let them want to know. The girls used to come back after it. Yeah, we missed seeing, we wanted to see that, you know. <laughs> I said, no, well then, you, there's no mystery, nothing. You I know? know, I like mystery. My daughter, my daughter, Mm -hmm. She came to see it, and when that came, she hid. She never knew what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that, so you know. But Paul didn't mm -hmm. have anything <laughs> against yeah, that. He yeah. wouldn't prefer it. Yeah. But uh, it's it's like you you look at some of the old movies now, and you know what's going to happen. But mm -hmm. the thought of it, and it's mu so. Right. It's 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 better somehow than than the yeah. raw naked sex. You know? mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, but but actors must do, like in everything else in life, mm -hmm. you must follow your own conscience. Right. Mm -hmm.